हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विथ विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉपिक मस्टर्ड सेटोप्लाज्मिक मेल एस्टिलिटी बेस्ड हैबिट सीट प्रोडक्शन सो लेट्स प्रोसीड टू द प्रेजेंटेशन फर्स्ट स्टेप इज फील्ड सिलेक्शन एंड फील्ड प्रिपरेशन फॉर मस्टर्ड हैबिट सीट प्रोडक्शन वी हैव टू सिलेक्ट ए क्लीन वीट फ्री एंड वेल फ्लोराइज ऑफ हाई फर्टाइल सीट फील्ड इज नीडेड फॉर बेटर जर्मिनेशन एंड गुड क्रॉप ग्रोथ The fields should have both irrigation and well drainage facilities. While selection of fields, we have to select fallow land or green manure crop grown during rainy season. There should be two years crop rotation system followed while selection of fields. We have to avoid the fields where previously mustard crop was grown. Pre-irrigation must be required before sowing, and two to three ploughing is required after pre-irrigation. while area selection we have to select compact belts isolation free belts and experienced grower which are well versed with principles and practices of hybrid mustard seed production in rape seed and mustard there are four methods which are used for hybrid seed production like using genetic male sterility system using cytoplasmic male sterility system genetic engineered male sterility system and chemical hybridizing agents chh so here we will discuss broadly about cytoplasmic male sterility hybrid seed production system here we will focus on hybrid seed production technique using cms line cytoplasmic male sterility system in this system we are using two parental lines a line which is known as male sterile line or female line and second is r line which is called male line or restorer line basically the production of the hybrid seed is similar to the multiplication of cms line where the a line and b lines are used while in case of hybrid seed production we are using a line and r line but the principles are same in f1 hybrid seed production there is cross pollination between a line and r line where r line pollens are pollinating a line female lines for better output of seed set and pollination B hives are used where the honey bee apis mellifera is playing important role in crossing output there is transfer of pollen grains from male lines to the female and there is significant impact on seed setting and yielding generally 4 to 5 bee hive boxes are recommended per hectare which are resulting in good seed set another method is used supplementary pollination where gentle shaking light shaking of the male rows with a stick or rope is recommended which play important role in increasing the wind pollination for high pollen pressure two to four border rows of r line is recommended and it should be grown all around the field because of wind pollination and honey bee movement it will create importance and play great role in pollination now to discuss the discovery or importance of cytoplasmic male sterility cms in hybrid seed production of mustard first cytoplasmic male sterility was used in brassica nepus and later in brassica juncea where the possibilities were find out to develop f1 hybrid seeds in self pollinating crops of oil seeds first cms based hybrid of brassica nepus was released in china in 1985 and later gobi sarso hybrid pgsh 51 was first oil seed brassica released in india in brassica juncea there were two hybrids released dmh1 and nrchb 506 which was released in india here to study about sowing first is sowing time for mustard hybrid seed production the correct ideal sowing window period is 15th october to 10th november as mustard is the rabi crop so the sowing window between this period is supporting to the crop for its agroclimatic requirement and best suitability for the crop growth and yielding as in hybrid seed production we are using two parental lines a line and r line so correct following of staggering is recommended staggering refers to the differential sowing of male and female lines a and r lines to match the 
correct flowering time synchronization. So for better synchronization, correct staggering is needed, which is recommended by the breeders. Now row ratio. Generally male and female line ratio is maintained is to 4 or 1 is to 6, where male is 1 line and female is 6 line. And there should be two lines of male planting on border side, which will result in better crossing output. While making the row ratio, we have to leave one row blank between female and male lines. And the row to row distance is maintained 40 to 45 centimeter and plant to plant distance is maintained around 15 centimeter. As a seed rate and a spacing is concerned in case of hybrid seed production, R line seed rate is used as a 0.3 to 0.5 kg per acre depending upon the behavior of parental line. And in case of A line, female line, the seed rate is used 800 grams to 1 kg per acre. And the spacing is followed row to row 40 to 45 centimeters and plant to plant 15 centimeters. And the seed depth is generally followed 2 to 3 centimeters, which results in better germination. And generally, the plant population is maintained 90,000 to 1 lakh plants per acre. Fertilizer application For hybrid seed production of mustard, the fertilizer dosage recommended for nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and sulfur per acre basis is 80 kg, 40 kg, 40 kg, and 40 kg respectively. For saline and alkaline soils and the areas where hard water, water is reported, we have to apply gypsum at the rate 5 bags per acre and it should be applied one month before sowing for the better mixing in the soil incorporation. By the sowing times, it will be available to the plants and for the better crop growth. For mustard habit seed production, for better extending of the crop, the farmyard manure or compost at the rate 10 tons per acre is also recommended. Weeds should be applied 25 days to 1 month before sowing. It is needed for better incorporation in and decomposition into the soil and it will be available to the crop after fully decomposition. Now the types of fertilizer and its doses at stages. There are three important stages where the fertilizers are recommended to be applied. Like first one is sowing time where the ammonium sulfate is applied at the rate 30 kg per acre, diammonium phosphate DAP is applied 40 kg per acre, potass as mirot of potass is applied 20 kg per acre. At the first irrigation stage, after 30 to 35 days of sowing, the ammonium sulfate and urea is applied mixing 15 kg and 15 kg. And again, at the second irrigation stage, 65 to 65 to 70 days after sowing, again ammonium sulfate and urea is applied mixing 15 kg and 15 kg additionally. In case of oil seed crop, especially in mustard and this rape seed, the sulfur based fertilizers are very very important because sulfur is one of the important constituent of oil seed crops. So it is playing important role in enhancing the crop growth and nutritive quality of the seed and its weight and quality improvement. So sulfur based fertilizers are recommended in case of mustard. There should be application of 5 kg biogyme or 3 kg humic seal granules at the time of sowing mixing with parent seed which will help to improve the soil condition and it will work as a growth hormones which will work as a enhancer. Now irrigation. As a mustard is a rubby crop so there is less water requirement during crop period. During crop duration there is need of 30 to 40 centimeters of water and the critical irrigation stages for mustard is budding, flowering and pot formation. So the first stage is budding stage which occurs from 28 to 33 days after sowing and second stage is flowering stage which is around 70 to 75 days after sowing and third is pod filling stage which is around 90 to 100 days after sowing. So these are the three critical stages where there should not be shortage of irrigation water otherwise there will be 
significant impact on yielding. Thinning and intercultural operations. In case of mustard hybrid seed production, there should be maintenance of 18 to 22 plants per square meter area and on an average there should be 20 plants per square meter which is recommended for optimum yielding of mustard. To maintain the plant stand and establish net standing area, there should be removal of extra plants and weeding operations should be done at 20 days after sowing. It will reduce the crop weed competition and competition within plants. So it should be done timely. Now weed control. In case of mustard, the major weeds are Chinopodium album, Espodilus species, Enagelis species and Rumex species and another one is Orobenchia species. In case of mustard, the chemical weed control is not popular and it is generally not followed. So there should be manual weeding or hand weeding which, which should be done at the stage of 25 to 30 days after sowing. Synchronized flowering of male and female parents. In habit mustard seed production, we are using two different parents, A line, which is male style line or female line, and second, R line, which is male line or restorer line. So the synchronization or needing of both parents at correct time is very very important to get the best yields. Oil seed brassicas have indeterminate flowering habit. Indeterminate flowering means vegetative and reproductive growths are running simultaneously where crop growth is also taking place and flowering and seed setting reproductive growth is also continuing. As per the observations and the reportings, early onset of flowering in female parent means advancement of female is if female is early then male parent then there will be reduction in hybrid seed setting. So as per the hybrid seed production principles, the male parent should be advanced one to two days, which is recommendable. If female is early, it will impact on crossing and yielding. So sowing should be done in such a way that nicking should result in perfect. There should be simultaneous flowering because of which pollination will be in correct stage and male pollen availability and female stigma opening will match each other which will result in better crossing output. Pollination management or nicking management for CMS seed production in mustard. There are different ways of nicking management like first one is correct estimation of flowering stage. After sowing, we have to observe the flowering behavior of both parents to know the nicking status. If it is okay, both parents are correct stage, then no need to take any step. But if there is some gaps where male and female are lacking the synchronization, then we have to take the appropriate steps. Second is bee hive deployment and maintaining the bee population. Honeybees Apis mellifera is one of the good pollinator and it is having the significant impact on crossing and yielding in hybrid seed production. So we have to deploy the proper numbers of beehive boxes like per hectare four to five boxes and maintenance of proper population. Third is flooring adjustment and switching which depends on various practices like first one is staggering. Staggering refers to the differential sowing of male and female parent for the correct flooring matching. So we have to follow the staggering recommendations as per the breeders. Second is tripping or nipping in case of female. If female is getting advanced, then we have to go for tripping or nipping, removal of advanced flooring branches. Because of this, there will be regeneration and re-emergence of flooring parts. Third is male cutting. If male is advanced, then we have to go for removal of some male branches because of which it will match with late coming female. And fourth is a spraying of growth promoter. Which parents is getting delayed, then we have to spray some chemicals which will boost up the growth and enhance the flooring. So these are the different 
measures to be adopted for nicking management or pollination management. As we earlier discussed, honey bee is playing important role as pollinator. There are various studies which have showed that honey bee Apis mellifera was the most abundant hemopterans in the mustard field as a pollinator. Finally, it can be concluded that providing honey bee colonies to the flowering mustard field can substantially contribute to the yield. 4 to 5 beehive boxes are recommended per hectare to get the maximum seed set and increasing the mustard hybrid seed production yieldings. Quality aspects of seed production In CMS based hybrid seed production of mustard, there are some critical factors which to be focused while production. Like first one is isolation distance management. We have to maintain the minimum isolation distance of 1000 meters or 1 kilometer. For CMS seed production, we have to ensure a zero brassica yellow or white flower or rape seed mustard in the periphery of 1000 meters from hybrid seed production of our field. Second is volunteer plant management. To escape the volunteer plant problems, we have to select the fields where the previous season's mustard crop was not grown and compulsorily there should be following of three years crop rotation because mustard is having very small seeds and it may present in the field for longer time. So we have to select the fields where minimum three years crop rotation was followed. Third is roguing. There are various roguing stages where we have to remove the off types to maintain the quality like first stage is free flowering stage or budding stage. Second is at the 50% flowering initiation stage. Third stage is flowering stage at 20% flowering completion. Third is flowering stage at 70% flowering completion and fifth stage flooring termination stage or male chopping stage. So on various stages we have to go for roguing to remove the any chances of adulteration or quality contaminations. In case of roguing we have to remove the off types like tall plants, disease plants or late emerging plants and pollen seeders before pollen dispersal. Pollen seeders to be removed before pollen release, otherwise it will pollinate the female which will result in quality contaminations. We have to rogue out the mustard or thoria or other mustard family belongings plant or volunteer plants in the periphery of 1000 meters within isolation distance. For effective roguing. The roguing should be done two to three times before flowering based on morphological characteristics of parental lines. During flowering period, roguing is critical and it should be done as per the roguing schedule for quality seed production. A special care should be taken to remove pollen seeders before flower opening in A line. If it is rogued out delayed or after Pollen shedding, it will contaminate female which will result in sterility in F1. A special attention should be given to remove objectionable weed Mexican prickly poppy or Argimon mexicana which is commonly known as Satyanasi in North India. Male chopping is also important to maintain the quality. When female flowers are terminated completely and flowering is over, the male lines are chopped out or cut down before maturity and these are burned before female harvesting. At the time of female harvesting, there should be no any male plants left in the field and after fully inspection verification, we have to go for female harvesting. It will nullify the chances of contamination with male plants. Harvesting, drying and threshing. In case of mustard, harvesting stage is very very important. Mustard is prone to shattering, so correct harvesting stage should be preferred to avoid any losses. 
as soon as the pods turn yellowish brown color harvest the crop the crop is as liable to shattering hence it should be harvested just before the pods open in order to avoid losses the harvested crop should keep as such in the field up to 7 to 8 days for complete drying and we have to bring down the moisture up to 8% so after 8% moisture arrival we have to go for threshing cleaning bagging we maintained storage after threshing and proper cleaning before bagging to be ensured seed moisture not more than 8% to ensure uniform bagging and right weight at field level and store the seed material in short term storage go down must be proper ventilated and convenient for dispatch and to ensure the seed moisture are not more than 8% so this presentation was all about mustard cms hybrid seed production hope this will be useful to all of you thank you very much i have given here my youtube channel details journey with vijay kumar srivastava having request please visit the channel subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback thank you